All right, so our motivation for today, uh, one of the things I would like for you all to focus on as far as uh, motivating you today, I'm going to challenge you to read a success story. And um, I have a story that I want to read to you, and um, it was very, very moving, and I hope that this motivates you all and helps you to recognize the the importance of what you are saying to others, especially as you're working with um, whether it be children or adults uh, and and sharing. So I wanted to share this story with you. Okay, so this is about, uh, okay, so here's the story. One day as a small child, Thomas Edison came home from school and gave a paper to his mother. He said to her, Mom, my teacher gave this paper to me and told me only you are to read it. What does it say? Her eyes welled with tears as she read the letter out loud to her child. Your son is a genius. This school is too small for him and doesn't have good enough teachers to train him. Please teach him yourself. His mother did just that until she fell ill and passed away. Many years after Edison's mother died, he became one of the greatest inventors of the century. One day he was going through some of her things and found the folded letter that his old teacher had written to his mother. He opened it. The message written on this letter was, your son is mentally deficient. We cannot let him attend our school anymore. He is expelled. Edison became emotional reading it and then wrote in his diary, Thomas A. Edison was a mentally deficit child whose mother turned him into a genius of the century. Now, I saw this online and I did not do my research to see if this is actually a true story. But what was very, very moving about this for me was the power of our words and the power of what we share and the power of what comes out of our mouth. If this story is true, the mother did two things. Not only did she protect her son from the harsh words that the school had written, but in addition to that, the fact that she shared, said what she did say, although it wasn't true, you know, that um, she spoke into him life and existence and learning and prosperity and that's what he became and so as we go into this week right now what I'd like for you all to think about is what are you speaking into other people's lives what can you do or what can you say to encourage people so whether you're working with children whether you're working with adults whether you are just talking to your family members or your friends Think thoroughly about what you say and the impact that it can have on their lives. So let's say, for example, you're working with a young person or an an older person that's having difficulty understanding what you're sharing in terms of them polishing their their, their presence or, or using the power of polite in different situations. Use words that will encourage that individual, that will build them up as opposed to tearing them down. So instead of telling someone that they're doing it doing something the wrong way. So instead of saying, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. Instead, you can shift that and say, how about we try it this way? I think you'll do better if we try it this way. Okay. So think about those things. So as you're going through this week, one thing to kind of motivate you and encourage you, try to see if you can find a story. Read a story about somebody that's really positive or strong, whether it's an article, but reading success stories is always really great and and encouraging. Don't let other people's success stories kind of tear you down or make you feel like you haven't, um, make you feel like you haven't um, uh, achieved things or anything like that. But instead, look at those success stories to inspire you, to motivate you, and push you into action, okay? So... Think about somebody that you admire right now. Do some research and and see what their story is and allow their story to motivate you to move forward. So I encourage you all. I want to speak life into each one of you all today. And I declare that each and every one of you have the exact potential. You have the tools and you have everything you need to change lives 
that are going to transform your communities and the world around you. The words that you all speak to other people will edify and build people up. I declare that today. You all possess the power, and I am thankful to be on this journey with so many magnificent individuals, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very proud to call you one of my partners. So go out, take on the day, uh, be leaders in your community, and do well. <laughs>